Hello Rico's Rainbows! I am so excited to be back with you to do another art project. Sorry it's been a little bit of time. Today this one's really cool and actually really easy so you don't have to follow a ton of directions but you get to do some really fun stuff and make something that I think turns out really cool. So if what you need is a piece of paper and some watercolor paints. Yours look a little bit different than mine. And then a paintbrush and a jar of water. So this is going to sound a little bit wild, but the first thing you're going to do is crumple up your paper. So take it, squish it all up really well like this. Okay, now my paper is really crumpled. So I'm going to take my water. My brush is wet now because I need a wet brush for watercolor paint. So here's my paint. I'm going to start with blue. So I'm going to get lots of blue paint on my brush. And then I'm just going to pick parts of my paper that are showing to put paint on. I'm going to rinse, get some more water, and put some more blue on my paper, or on my paintbrush. And keep finding spots to paint. So I'm trying to find spots that you can't see that aren't like folded in that you can just see on the front of your paper. A little bit more water, a <clears throat> little bit more paint here. I'm looking for where the folds are in my paper because that also looks kind of cool if you paint those parts. Okay, so far I see a lot of blue on my paper, so now I'm going to open it up. And I've got a whole bunch of blue spots, less on this side, more on this side. And I'm going to crumple it up again. I'm going to crumple it differently so different parts of paper are showing. And I'm going to choose a new color. I think I'm going to go with purple this time, or magenta. So again, I'm putting lots of color on here, and I'm going to go to work painting. I'm going to speed this up after this so you can just watch what I'm doing and see the final product, because I think you probably understand it now. Okay friends, I'm going to stop here, but you can keep putting more colors on and crumpling your paper back up and trying again as long as you want to until you feel like it looks how you want it to look. It's all about what you like. I like the colors that I've used and especially on this side, I like the white space that I have. So can't wait to see what you do. Make sure you post it on Seesaw for me.